today we are going to talk about reptiles. This is amazing. This is awesome. You know, the world has many different types of animals. One of the most fascinating types are the reptiles, and you're about to see why. But first, let's meet some of these reptiles. Snakes, turtles, crocodiles, geckos, lizards, and chameleons. Now look at these incredible animals. They're all reptiles. What do they all have in common? We're about to find out what makes all these animals reptiles. First of all, they are covered with scales. Not with hair or feathers, but with scales. Look at this incredible iguana. Oh my goodness, covered in scales. I mean, just look at these scales. These scales are dry and they're waterproof. And they cover the bodies of reptiles just like this iguana. Reptiles aren't covered in fur, they're not covered in hair, they're not covered in feathers, they're covered in these waterproof scales. Look at this massive snake. You can see that this snake is covered with scales. Remember, snakes are reptiles, and reptiles are covered with scales. Look at all these scales, absolutely covered with these intricate scales. Here's an interesting example of scales. This is an albino alligator, which means the alligator is very pale. And you can see that this alligator is covered with scales, but the alligator also has these bony plates on his back. You can kind of see them there in the corner. Those are not scales, but reptiles also can have those bony plates, but this alligator is still covered with scales. Scales are a big clue that an animal is a reptile. The second thing you need to know about reptiles is reptiles breathe in oxygen. Just like we breathe in oxygen, reptiles have to breathe in oxygen to survive. Now, just like people, reptiles have two lungs in their body. Lungs bring in new air and pump out the old air. Even reptiles that live in and near water, like crocodiles and alligators, have to breathe in air to survive. Now this is so fascinating. Did you know reptiles are cold-blooded? Cold-blooded means that their bodies don't keep them warm automatically. They have to have sunlight to keep them warm. Here's a picture of a lizard that's soaking in some sunlight. This is very important for this lizard because, as with all the other reptiles, this lizard is cold-blooded. That means that the temperature of the lizard needs to have sunlight to keep it warm. It doesn't warm automatically. This lizard is cold-blooded. Here's a snake that's in the sunlight. The sunlight is helping to warm the body of this snake. This doesn't happen automatically with the snake's body because the snake is cold-blooded just like the other reptiles. Hey, here's a picture of a chameleon. Chameleons are just so cool. Now, of course, this chameleon is cold-blooded because all of the reptiles are cold-blooded. If they want to get warmer, they have to go to the sunlight because their bodies don't warm them. They're cold-blooded. Wow, I mean, right? I mean, these are incredible creatures. You know, reptiles, they're covered in these dry, waterproof scales. They breathe in oxygen with those two lungs like we do. They're cold-blooded, which is so fascinating. Can you imagine having to lay out in the sun if you wanted to warm your body instead of your body being able to do it on its own? These are fascinating creatures. Hey, d do you have a favorite reptile? It's okay, you don't have to tell me, but... Cool! Very cool! 
Yeah, it's, you know, you figure snakes, turtles, crocodiles, alligators, geckos, lizards, chameleons. I mean, reptiles are just the coolest, aren't they? I mean, they're just, they're just absolutely amazing. Hey, we hope you had fun and learned a lot, and we hope to see you next video.